Welcome viewers back to The Preaching Humanist with David Oliverio, that is I. Today I want to discuss testing supernatural claims. Boy, do I get this a lot when I'm out there on the weekends with my activism, uh, normalizing atheism. Continually get supernatural claims of, from believers of all different religions. About 20 years ago, a fellow atheist who was a paleontologist scientist was a, what I call an accommodationalist, someone who tried to reconcile a religion and faith and science. Well, he called what he believed in the non-overlapping magisteria, two different areas of authority, one religion and one science. He wanted to try to reconcile the two. So Stephen Jay Gould said this, he said that science concerns itself with understanding the natural world, while religion deals with morality. Well, let's discuss that today. In the next two or three episodes, I'm going to go ahead and confront these supernatural claims to see if they're true or not. Uh, well, I would say that this gnome, this non-overlapping magisteria is wrong. Why? Because they actually do overlap. Why do they overlap? Well, religion, Christianity, Islam, and the others do make supernatural claims that come into what we would call the natural world. Once these claims are made in the natural world, they're open for scientific testing. I want to say, hey, let's go hunting. Let's get out them their guns and shoot us some supernatural claims. Why is that? Well, religion makes claims all the time that come into the natural world where science can test them. And also, science goes into religion, which is morality. Overwhelming data and evidence in science that we as moral creatures, as human beings and other uh, social animals do have morality and ethical behavior built within us. Uh, religions are open to scientific testing. They, religions, claim that God is an active participant in human lives and the world. So what I get from believers a lot when I demand evidence for them to show me something supernatural, I get, David, the Lord cannot be tested. God is not a genie. You're demanding evidence. God cannot be a genie. He doesn't have to show you anything. He is not to be tested. Well, where did they get this idea from? Of course, from the Bible. So I'm going to read a little scripture right here in Luke chapter 4. Most of you atheists that were fellow Christians understand some of these scriptures. But this scripture here is about the temptation of Jesus. Uh, the devil led him up to the mountaintop, demanding evidence and so forth. And in verse 9 of Luke 4, it says, He, Satan, led Jesus to Jerusalem and he had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said, If you are the Son of God, ask him for evidence, throw yourself down here, for it is written, and he begins to quote from the Old Testament, that he, God, will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Now, here's the interesting thing in verse 12. Jesus said, you shall not put the Lord your God to test. In other words, hey, I'm undetectable. And I get this from believers a lot. Well, God is undetectable. He's above space, time, and matter. So I would say, let's see, if this God were really a God of love, and he didn't want any of us to perish, but that all should come to repentance, I'm quoting from the epistle of Peter, that he should give us some kind of evidence, especially those that demand empirical evidence and so forth. We want to really know. So I tell Christians all the time, well, God can be tested. The claims are made in the natural world open for scientific investigation and scrutiny. So interesting to know that the last chapter, the last book of the Old Testament, the book of Malachi, here's a little contradiction for you in the Bible. Jesus said that God cannot be tested. Well, let's see. Uh, Malachi chapter 3, bring the whole tithe of the offerings, I used to preach this all the time, into the storehouse so that there may be food in the house of the Lord. Why? It says, my house, and test me and prove me now, 
says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing until it overflows. Here's a supernatural claim. Into the natural world, open now for scientific testing. A claim is made that if you give 10% of your income, God's going to open up the windows of heaven. Now, we can test this. So, yes, I do believe that science can refute and debunk this, <coughs> excuse me, this whole notion of a supernatural deity because claims of supernaturalism are made all the time in the natural world. So, I'm going to continue on this topic. Let's understand what this NOM was. Non-overlapping magisteria. Well, it does overlap. Science can go into morality, and Christianity and Islam and the other religions go right into the natural world, open for critical scrutiny. So stay tuned for the next two or three episodes, and let's investigate some of these supernatural claims. Have a wonderful day.